Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have introduced one of the new members of our company, Miss Lily Tom. Yeah, and how'd you like doing your first show? Oh, the, uh, it, it's so, there was so, I, the thing that I really, I couldn't believe, the people were just, uh, for, like, uh, for, were like when Big Al picks up and he makes it, you know, he, um, what is that, you know, he, he make, uh, he, he just, he, he's, you know, what, whatever, he, and Goldie is, you know, so, she's so intelligent, but more than that, it's, uh, I enjoy, enjoy, mm, ah! <laughs> The preceding program was pre-recorded just in time to be the last show of this year. And before, you know, and the, the uh, you know, I really have to thank, the audition, I have to because I never in the steam room it was unbelievable. <laughs> I, it to be to have to, and then the attendant came and couldn't unlock the thing to get my thing. I was so I didn't know what, and I had to go home. I took, but luckily I could do that. And behind me, very interesting that new girl. She sounds a lot like my commanding officer. We didn't understand him either. <laughs> Good luck, kid. And they, they could only see what go behind. Because, but you know, and despite all that and everything, I, I think that I really, I, I'd have to thank, um, you know, the person um, up there. The janitor. Ah! <laughs> One ringy dingy. <laughs> Two ringy dingy. <laughs> A gracious good afternoon. Is this the party to whom I am speaking, Mr. Vidal? Yes, this is Mr. Vidal. Oh, hello, Mr. Vidal. This is Miss Tomlin from the telephone company. Uh, the, the name is Vidal. Da. Da. Oh, now don't get fresh with me. No, listen, Mr. Vidal. Vidal. Look, if we can't come to an accord on this, I'm just going to call you by your first name, Gory. <laughs> Now then, Gory, I wanted to tell you that I've just seen Myra Breckenridge, and you promised me a part in the picture, and I noticed that it went to Raquel Welch. No, she didn't get the part. Your part went to Rex Reed. <laughs> well, okay, Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> Things could have been worse, you know. My part could have gone to John Houston. <laughs> now then, oh, by, by the way, Gory, I've just read your latest literary effort, Two Sisters. Uh, how, uh, how'd you like it? Oh, I loved her, hated her. And by the way, by the way, I'm available for the part of either sister. I'm sorry, but we've already given the parts to Rex Reed and John Houston. <laughs> and now, now, Miss Tomlin, well, I've got you here. Oh, now, wait a minute, Mr. Vito. You, you don't quite have me there just yet, you silver-tongued fox. <laughs> I want to complain about a bill. Oh, now, now listen, Miss Gory. Your problems with Mr. Fabuckley are of no concern to me. Not that bill, or just plain bill. My telephone bill. I've been overcharged. Overcharged? Well, I'd say that's pretty obvious from the books you've been writing. <laughs> now, Mr. Vito, hello. Now, back by popular request, William F. Buckley. Ernestine? Yes. Um, <laughs> I, I wanted you to know that I'm a big fan of yours, Mr. F. Buckley. <laughs> What does, what does the F stand for? You needn't tell me. I'll come up later and inspect your pencil. What I'm interested in is there are a great many books out now, like everything you wanted to know about sex and were afraid to ask. Then there's the Masters and Johnson book. And then there's the Sensuous Women, not unlike myself. <laughs> uh, what position do you hold on these books? And where are you staying in Burbank? <laughs> My name is Edith Ann, and I don't have to say nothing if I don't want, because I'm going to have a baby. You know how you could get a baby? First, you could get real fat. Then you could eat a lot of pickles. Then your daddy puts a lot of clothes in the car and gets real nervous and can't find the keys. 
and then the policeman gives you a ticket, and you take the ticket to the hospital, and they give you a little baby boy. And that's the truth. <laughs> Wells, this is so for I this is the I want you know what I'm so excited. The thing about it is when I was when I used to listen, you know, on the radio when you were the shadow, the, that was this was one of the most exciting for you know, especially for a, I mean when you would you know that when you would say, uh well, first of all that la you know that sinister, the la you know that ha ha, you know, you know what I'm you know, and when you would say what what evil uh the, it was a it was it was a kind of thing it would convey to a especially to an impression, you know, to a child. It was I what I, you know what I was talking when I was back I said, if only the thing that I would, the thing that I would try, if I could only make magical things, if the thing would, if you could, I would, what I would like you to do, I would, what I have dreamed, if, if you could, if you could cloud, you know, do what you, you know, when you used to, fall, when you used to cloud, you would cloud people, you would uh, turn people's, you would cloud people's, uh, you could cloud people's, Mr. Wells. Oh, this is fantastic. I knew this was so mad. This is, he has actually be Mr. Uh, Orson, he has, he has actually be my, he has be my, my, oh! Oh, Mr. Wells. You know, I, I'm, I have some, I wanted to, first of all, I never miss your, you know, I, and I must, something happened, so fast, something happened the other, I just wanted to tell you about, because, first of all, 10 o'clock, I never, I always jump right, you know, just to get ready, to, and I jump, and then I take a little, you know, uh, suds, and I, you know, do it, you know, to get, with anticipation, you know, then I put a little dab, I perf, you know, I put a little per every place, and then I have this, and I put on a little kind of, I have a little, not a little flimsy kind of, you know, you see, I wish you, I really wish you, because then I, I jump in, I, then I jump, I turn out, and I jump in the bed, and I, plow, you know, I, uh, and, and I always have a little, uh, uh, I always have a little, you know, a little milk and cook because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to disturb them. I want to be, and then I, I, and then I, and then little Ed McMahon with those little, you know, those little chub, and he comes out and he says, here's John, and then you walk, and then you walk, and you have, fan, you really do have a fan, you know, your, this and broad you have a, is sick. And you tell us kind of, they're very tittle, you know, it to really turn, it's a kind of, it really, and I get so excited, and the other night I turned, I actually, I turned over my, it just, and I, and I, my milk, it just, and I was sitting right with soggy cookies. <laughs>